So let's start off with, with prosperity seeds. I'm really hoping that this works. I don't know if it'll work or not. <sighs> I'm actually kind of nervous about it. Not gonna lie. Dirt and prosperity seeds. No, it doesn't seem to work. Alrighty, hello, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Crafty Simmer, and we are back with another episode of Coral Alley SMP, which is actually the last video on the channel for the year, which means we're going into 2021, and I'll be taking a two week break. So in the last part, we did some Christmas decorations, I figured out how to make these like tree type growing thingy boppers. But today, we're going to learn how to do the botany ones because we're going to see if the botany ones will actually support mystical agriculture because I just want to manage a freaking big, big farm. So in the, over the, like the last few parts, I have been obviously working down here to add on to the space down here. And I think this room that we have right here is actually going to be our agriculture room. Um, and we might have to add like multiple levels to this room just because of how much there probably is to <laughs> to make. So anyways though, I got the prosperity, I got the wheat seeds, and that's where we're going to start. So for us to make the prosperity seeds, the, we have to use the prosperity shards. And that will make us these seeds. A seed base I guess then we need to use the inferior essence put one in there and we have inferior seeds uh, seed base I don't know what that is <laughs> seed base okay so then prosperity seeds Okay, so it is just prosperity seed base. Got it, cool, got it, awesome. All right, and that's how we're gonna start today's video is by working on that. As you guys can see, my roof is obviously leaking, but that's okay. We'll just accept it as is, and it's still freaking ra Oh no, it's no longer raining, hooray! <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to make botany plants, which is much like this one right here. This one actually does trees. And then there's a kind that I was actually given, like I was given like one freebie for bread, and that one grows bread. So we have to figure out how to make the botany pots today. And that's kind of going to be our job, is going to be setting up our mystical agriculture farm. So let's see here, so we're going to see botany. Botany, we need terracotta and a flower pot, which means we got to make the brick. Um, smelting, which is through clay. Okay, so we gotta find a lot of clay. And a lot more clay than we already have. So, let's go ahead. Let's grab a shovel. And let's go mining. And I think we see terracotta right? Well, clay over there. That is clay. Sweet. Is that, wait, is that clay or is that sand? That is clay, okay. Good. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to mine this and I, mean, I don't think this will be enough to give us everything we need, but it should be a good start. Yeah, because like each block makes about, yeah, because every four makes about eight. So I'm not going to be comfortable until we have enough clay to basically kind of make up for like an entire stack of terracotta blocks. Cause you may never know how much I want more of. Like, you know, like I may want way more of these blocks. Who the heck knows? Because I might make more botany blocks. And that is very much a possibility is that I would like to make some more, some more pots. And I think this is actually like oil or something. I'm not quite sure what that is. <laughs> but I think it's oil. 
pretty sure it's oil actually. It looks like there's been some work done over here. I'm not quite sure. I mean, it looks like there's been some progress around this house. Like, I think the last time I saw it, there weren't even any windows in it, still. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, we're, we don't want to be over there. Pillagers are over there, and those are scary. We don't want those. Pillagers are bad. We don't want pillagers. <laughs> we want to stay away from all the pillagers. Okay. Then we're just gonna come down here and dig it all up. And I have this like internal fear of this one mob that we have in here. I'm not even sure if it still exists in this mod or not. <laughs> okay, I think for now that is a pretty good amount of of, uh, of terracotta clay. Whoa. Who was upstairs in my house? Nobody? Okay, T. Alrighty. Anyways, though. I'm not sure why it's saying there's like a mob right there. That kind of makes me uncomfy. <laughs> and we're gonna make the clay. Put that away. And wait for this clay to kind of come to fruition. And then we're gonna take this clay that I haven't made into anything yet, take out the stone that I'm gonna make into stone bricks, so that I can continue making my downstairs looking nice. Cause I'm gonna need a lot of those kind of blocks. And we're just gonna wait for those to kind of get ready to go. Anyways, let's head back down here. And we're just gonna maybe um, work on the walls here that haven't been quite ready to go yet. <sighs> Oy vey. I need to find my, uh, my redwood though first. So, I am so thankful though that I figured out how those like botany plants work. Those like botany pots because oh my goodness they have been a life changer <laughs> um, in terms of saving space and all of that fun stuff and we're just gonna plop down these blocks and let's go and check our terracotta because it should be ready now to make the botany pots yeah we have plenty now to start on the pots so we need to make to start off with, we're going to make two pots, two flower pots, okay? And then the recipe is, okay. and then this is the recipe. So we need two terracottas here, so like five terracottas in total, and then that will make us a single botany pot. And we'll just kind of keep going again, so we'll do the process again, put it down. Grab another one. Next up is, well, I mean, I'm not, I, I have this wood now around here for days, so let's just use this. Now we're gonna grab that, and we need at least another bit of soil to make the botany pots work. Cause you need like dirt for them to like put in. So let's grab the prosperity shards and the, uh, these seeds here and we'll kind of go from there okay oh wait I need I need another thing of dirt to make this work alrighty so we got the chests we've got the seeds we're gonna put this in the big room here so let's start off with, with prosperity seeds I'm really hoping that this works. I don't know if it'll work or not. <sighs> I'm actually kind of nervous about it. I'm not gonna lie. Dirt and prosperity seeds. No, it doesn't seem to work. God dang it. Um, <sighs> prosperity shards. I don't know how this works. E <laughs> Like, how does this work? I 
Do I have to take it outside and do it properly? Like, I don't know how this works. So we're going, so this is definitely a learning, a learning process. That's for sure. So over here, I actually have an old farm that I set up here originally. That now is kind of pointless because I have that. No. Okay. What do I need next to make this all work? Huh. Okay then. Let's do some reading perhaps. Some some nighttime reading, maybe? Question mark. Once again, wait for it to get dark. Um soil. Like, I actually don't know how to do this. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back and I did a little bit of research and I still don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna figure it out in this part, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, I decided to go ahead here and just kind of dig out a little portion of this area here. And what we're actually gonna end up doing is that I'm going to do this little, like, grid style. If that's the word I'm looking for, probably not. And then we're gonna fill these two little holes here with water. Hopefully now this is going to work. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. It's trying to set up mystical agriculture is fun. Because I only have one of these like little inferium seeds, and that's not a lot. <laughs> But, like, we need to get it going so that way then I can make better seeds and we can get, you know, like, more better items as well from these seeds. So let's go ahead here, let's drop them in. I'm really not sure how I feel about this quite yet. <laughs> and then we're gonna head up here. I need to make myself a hoe. So I'm not sure where my other hoe went. And then we'll just kind of go from here and hopefully we can figure this out. Because I still don't know anything about mystical agriculture. I have been looking at videos and stuff, but they don't... I don't know. <laughs> I guess I have to like plant them properly. I don't... I, blah, 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 I don't know. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Let's, let, let's hoe some soil. Wait for that to hydrate. You gonna hydrate there, good sir? Oh, I did it! I did it! <gasps> Yay, it's working! Okay, awesome. Ooh, okay. Do I, I don't think I have any bones on me. I'm too chicken to go outside in the dark. Yeah, I don't think I have any bones on me to kind of make the growth a lot faster but it makes me sad that the botany doesn't work though like that would have been freaking life-changing if it worked but it doesn't work unfortunately especially since you know this is like a very valuable essence to kind of start off with and stuff um, and I don't even know how to like even make this grow. I don't even think it has enough light in this dark little cave system I have here. So let's maybe add some more torches perhaps. I am so excited for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I actually have it growing. I legit have this being a thing right now. Oh my god, I'm so excited for it now. <laughs> but yeah, so like, maybe what I was thinking is that maybe we'll like, kind of like dig down and make it kind of like a waterfall type of effect where we have all the plants around us. So that way then, we don't have to worry too much about, um, about space. 
because I like because especially since we're in like small communities and stuff, I want to be mindful of my neighbors. So like I was going to build like a giant greenhouse, but decided against it. So this is where we are right now. And apparently this takes a while to grow. I'm not I'm not sure how how long a while is, but you know what? We made progress. It's working. It's growing. Slowly but surely it's growing. And I'm really honestly going to call that a victory. It's getting started on this mystical agriculture stuff. But I'm really hoping that this grows. Like, I'm not sure how this grows. Three. Pray though it does take a while though, so hopefully in hopefully when we start up next year, we'll, we'll actually be able to see how this worked out. How do I even um, make the better seeds? Like, how do we get to tier 2 and stuff? I don't even know how to get to tier 2. So like, if I wanted to make diamond seeds, for example, how would that work? Oh, okay. So I actually need to work up to these Supremium Essences to actually get this going and stuff. Interesting. <gasps> Yay, it's actually working! It's growing! I love it! Oh, it's so pretty! Okay. So that's how we're going to be able to get these Tier 1, these like, these like Tier Seeds to work. How do I get... Because some seeds that I'm definitely interested in are the Coal Seeds, like this one here. This one has the Prudentian. Okay. So we need to actually make an infusion crafter to make this work. Which is stone, red carpet, and gold ignits, which I'm pretty sure we have all of that accessible to us at the very least. I'm not even sure we have any wool. Um, yeah, we have wool. I can just dye it red, but we need one more bit of wool to make it work. Do I have string? Anywhere. I don't think I have string. What are ways for us to make the string? Are there ways for me to make this? Ooh, okay, cattail sweep. Uh, cattail. Cattail seeds. So I need to find cattails, okay. And if I get cattails. Like, there are seeds accessible outside at this very moment, right? I'm making that correct assumption. Current, okay, the map creates a bunch of creepy crawlies. And I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that or not. Cattail! 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 Cattails, 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 cattails for everyone! Woohoo! Oh, and those weren't even grown yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's replant a few of these for people. Since we do live in like a neighborhood type thing, I don't want to take, you know, all the accessible resources that are just at our front doors. You know, we gotta share because sharing is caring. <laughs> Are there any more cattails though nearby? Like, I really don't want to go adventuring because I'm gonna get lost and then I'm gonna get scared <laughs> because I get scared quite easily. Wait, how many cattails do I need? I only need three to make a string, and then how much do I need to make the wool? Ew. Okay, there's more crafting. I need four string to make the wool. So I have enough to make a singular thing of string. 
We're off to a great start. And I'm already out of food because I forgot to bring his stuff with me. Oy vey. Oy vey. But at least though, while I'm out though, we can let that thing like grow. And then we're not worried about it anymore. But like... <sighs> Wait, how many... How many things of wool do I even need? <gasps> oh my god, I didn't need to go anywhere! Okay. <laughs> I'm just not that bright, apparently. So what we actually need is red dye. Which we have some little roses out here. Or poppies, or whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure what they're called anymore. These are poppies. So we're gonna grab some poppies. And turn those into dye. And then we can dye the and then we can dye the wool. And then we can make the carpet. And then we can make the uh, the infuser thingy, the buffer thing. Do I even have gold that's been smelted? I know I have it. I don't think I have any gold that's been actually smelted though. So let's go back downstairs. I'm gonna grab my goddamn food because I keep forgetting to feed myself. And uh, where's oh, there's gold right there. No, that that's nickel. That's a nickel stone. Nickel, 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 nickel. Walk up the stairs so while eating my freaking food because I'm starving. Okay, I know I have gold. I found gold on the server. Okay, there it is. <laughs> That's why I can't find my goddamn gold. It's because it's in this. It's 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 hiding from me. Alrighty, so now we're just gonna wait for that to go. And stone. Do I have stone? Test? No, it's down. No, wait. Did I smelt all of it? I might have smelted all of it. <sighs> I might have already converted all of it into like, um, into the, uh, into the stone brick. So let's go ahead and fix that, shall we? By grabbing some stone and smelting that instead. Oy vey. I'm not very bright, apparently. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, we're gonna grab those. And we just need the last one. Okay, that one's working. Those are all good to go. And now we can actually start creating this thing. So let's go ahead, let's make some red wool. Take out the dye. Take that out, grab the red carpet. And then, we're gonna add the two up there. The three carpets. And then, at la and then the final one is the stone. And that would make us a infusion altar. Which I apparently activate with redstone? Oh. Well, that's a thing. Please tell me you break properly. Okay, good. So apparently we're going to need to- Apparently we're going to need another room. Just full of stuff. So that might be what we're going to work on here. Is that we're probably going to need like another room just for everything to work. So like, we'll probably maybe put the, um, the wall down here. Take that wall down. And then we'll get started on the infuser. In I mean the infuser and the altars and all that fun stuff, probably in the next episode. So for me to make the infusion stuff. For me to make the infusion pedestal. Okay, well that's fairly cheap. We can do that. Okay. 
Anyways there guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our very last episode of the year, our very last video of the year, because I'm because I will not be posting um, at all for the remainder of 2020. So I hope you guys enjoyed this year with me as much as you possibly can, because I know that it's been hard for a lot of people. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and if you have not yet joined the Crafty Squad make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a member today. Anyways, this has been Crafty Simmer, and for the last time in 2020, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye there, guys.